Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And if you've ever wanted your iPhone 17 to turn into a smart display, showing the time, your favorite photos, widgets, or even music controls, that's exactly what standby mode does. In this full tutorial, I'll show you how to use and customize standby mode on the iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, and iPhone 17 Air step-by-step, -step, plus all the hidden settings you don't wanna miss. Let's get started. So here's how you enable a standby mode on the iPhone. First, open up your settings application, and then you just wanna scroll down to the standby setting. Tap to open up the settings, and you wanna ensure that standby is enabled. Once it's enabled, you'll be able to access standby mode anytime your iPhone is charging, is sideways, and locked. It'll automatically go into its standby mode. With that being said, if you have an iPhone that has the always on display ability in your settings, once again, go to display and brightness, scroll down and make sure that always on display is on. When you turn this on, this will keep standby visible even when the phone's idle. So it's perfect for your nightstand or using it at night. Now, like I said, once it's turned on and you place it on any MagSafe charger, this is a wireless MagSafe charging stand and it'll start charging like this. If you don't have a MagSafe or any type of wireless charging stand like that, it still works the same way if you have a USB-C or lightning cable. So you're just going to plug it in like so. It'll start charging. You should see the charging icon at the top and then you can just lay it down on a desk or something like that and you can see standby is now enabled as well. Now let's explore the three main views you have with standby mode. This one that we're looking at right here is the standard and it's basically the widget view. So these are two sets of widgets here that you can customize. We'll go over those in a second. If you swipe left, it'll open up a photo view where it'll pull from your photo library or albums that you choose and you can see the photo as well as the time. If we move one over, you're going to get your standard clock view. And this is perfect for like a desk or nightstand setup and you can customize this as well. Now I'll show you how you can use the standby mode and customize each one of these options. So we'll start with the standard widget view that most of us are familiar with. And you can just swipe up or down and it'll take you through the different widgets you've added or have available on your phone. You can do the same thing on the left side here just by swiping between them, customize it the way you'd like. And if you wanna change or add widgets, you're just going to tap, hold, or long press, and it'll open up like this. If you've ever used Apple Watch before, it looks very similar to changing a watch face. You can tap up here, which will open up this view very similar to adding widgets on your iPhone. Now you can choose between all the widgets that you have based on the applications you have installed on your iPhone. So I had a battery widget there, but if I wanted, let's say an eBay widget, I could do that, tap add that widget. It'll now be in that list as well. And I have smart rotate on. And what this does is it auto rotates the widgets based on time of day and the activity. So depending on which ones you choose, it may switch between them. You also have widget suggestions here that you can turn on. So it'll suggest which widgets as well. So let's say we wanted that one, we're done here. We have the ability now to open up eBay with photos, sell things, or just look at eBay in general. And when you do that, it pops up like this and it'll open up eBay. We'll lock our iPhone again, go through it and set it up so that it fits your personal needs the way you like. Swiping over one more time here, we have the photo view. And this right now is showing me photos that I have on my album. If you tap and hold here, you'll be able to scroll up to featured photos. You'll be able to tap here to add from different albums that you've created. And then you would just select it and that's what you would see. If we scroll over one more, this is that standard clock view. I think it's perfect for just having it on your nightstand or your desk. And for this, again, you can just swipe up and down to see the different options. So there's a world map here or world view a large clock that's analog. These are what they give you to start. Now you can tap and hold on each of these. You'll get options here to change the color. So you can choose the color scheme you'd like, giving it more customization for yourself. You can also swipe to each one and do those same color changes based on whichever one you did choose. And then you can just tap done when you're done and that's how it's going to look on your screen. 
Now from the widget tab here, again, if you ever wanna remove or delete a widget from this section here, you can tap and hold and you'll see it pops up like this. You can scroll to the one you want, tap the minus and remove it. You can also reorder these widgets. So if they're not in the right order that you want, you can tap and hold on them right here and then you can kind of scroll up or down and move the widgets around the way you want. You can turn smart rotate off and on so that it's not going to rotate between them. And there it is, that's how mine is set up for now. You can do the same on this side with these widgets as well. Now, if you ever receive a call while you're in standby mode, it's gonna look like this. You have the ability to accept, decline, or send it to voicemail. And after a few seconds, it just goes back here. You can always tap up here, it'll bring up that screen again, and you can choose one of those options. If I decline the call, it's going to voicemail just like that. Again, if you have live voicemail on, you can tap to view the voicemail and you can see it's recording everything I'm saying right here in live voicemail. It's a cool feature just built right into this system. So that way you can see if it's worth your time to answer or not. I'm gonna stop right there. Now, if you have anything live going on in the background, sports, whatever might have uh, set up with your notifications. For example, I'll just set up a stopwatch and I'm gonna start it here. And then I'm gonna lock my phone and we'll turn it this way. You can see it's on the lock screen in general, but if I bring it into standby mode here, you do get that little kind of notification or option at the top, just like we did when the phone call was coming through. You can tap on that and actually work with it right from this standby mode here. So I can pause it, I can stop it, play it, do a second lap, whatever, and you just get it in a nice larger landscape mode view of it. So for this, I'll just pause and we'll stop it and it's gone. If you have music playing too and it appears in your dynamic island, usually those kind of things when you lock your iPhone and it enters this mode will pop up right there. It's hard to see, but there is an icon right there for music. And I can always tap on that and engage with it right here as well. So. I believe that the standby mode is heavily tied into Dynamic Island because anything that I find appears in Dynamic Island when I unlock my phone up here also appears in standby mode. So play around with all of those as well because it gives you more customization on what you can do. Now let's go over the standby mode settings. They're very important because you want it to work the way you want. So scroll down in the settings app, tap standby here, and these are the ones you have. So first off, we showed you this earlier, standby mode on or off, display options. So turn the display off automatically after 20 seconds, never. When you have it set to automatically, the display will intelligently turn off when the iPhone is not in use and the room is really dark. So usually if you have it on your desk at night and you go to sleep, it'll know when. However, it does have a night mode here. So it's going to display with a red tint in a low light ambient light. So that's this one right here. I'll show you how that one looks. So I'll lock my iPhone. You can see it enters into standby mode. Now, when I shut the lights down, you'll see it dims down and gives you a nice red light. That's not going to be as bothersome. You can still interact with it this way, go through the different options and customize. And when the lights turn back on, it then re-enters its standard standby look. So go back into your settings and turn night mode on or off, depending on where or how you want this to work. I'm gonna show you the way I have it set up with all these settings. I also have motion to wake enabled with my standby mode options here. When you enter the standby mode, just like that, any motion will then wake it up like that. So once again, either choose to enable or disable that feature if you'd like. And now we'll move down to notifications. And I didn't show you the notifications yet, just cause I want you to either choose to enable or disable the show preview on tap only. So if you want notifications to come through while you're in standby mode, turn that on and then decide if you want the preview on the tap only. So by default, I'll show you how it looks when we get a notification. So while in standby mode, if we get any kind of notification, for example, I'm gonna send myself a message here, it'll pop up like this and it'll give you the preview. So it says, hey, how's it going? Are you making the best standby tutorial on YouTube right now? Obviously we are. Now, if we did show preview on tap only, now we have to actually work with this. So we'll go back into our standby. We'll send that same message over to the phone 
and it'll pop up just with a notification option this time like this. We're not getting the preview or option. We actually have to tap on it to bring that little preview up and engage with it. So that's how notifications will work, whether it's a text message, an email, any kind of event that triggers a notification. As long as you have these options enabled or disabled, you'll see them that way. And this is how I have my iPhone 17 Air settings set up with standby. I'm using the 17 Air mainly. Now I wanna show you how Siri can interact with your iPhone while in standby mode as well. So for this, we're opening our settings again and just go to the Apple Intelligence and Siri and check on how you have talk and type to Siri set up. So I don't have this option enabled, but you can set it up. Now, once you're in your standby mode, you can actually engage and ask Siri questions. Now you would use that Siri command. I'm not gonna use this for this example. I don't want it to trigger your Siri, but I can press and hold the side button as well. So I'm just gonna ask it a simple question here. Who won the Jays game versus the Yankees the other day? The Blue Jays won the ALDS three games to one against the Yankees. They won the last game five to two last Wednesday. And then you get that option. So you can literally connect with it. And if you have Apple Intelligence set up as well, you'll be able to use Apple Intelligence options there. So things like asking ChatGPT if you have the notification on or off. What's 75 times 42 plus 10? 75 times 42 plus 10 is 3,160. And you can actually engage with this. I tap on it, it opens my calculator. So whatever you ask Siri to do will then create that trigger, give you the ability to use Siri, and you'll be able to engage with it as well. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you didn't know that you could do all this with standby. A lot of people just thought you just take your phone, you put it down, and then you get this standby mode and it just sits there. But there really is a lot to it. Like even these widgets that we're looking at here, if you tap on them, you get that little icon, it'll open up that calendar so you can see that specific event and you can then work with it. So you really do have a lot of control while you're in standby mode. One thing to keep in mind is you do see there's an icon there. It's hard to see for you guys, but I can pull down and I can open up my control center as well. The one thing you have to note, I don't know what's going on there. That's a glitch, but you cannot really change the brightness. You can move it. It just doesn't do anything. Standby sits in its own brightness. You can control the volume. You can set low power mode. You can go dark mode and light mode, although standby is always like that it's always dark mode no matter which mode you're in you have all the options you had there with control center so if you customize your control center you'll also be able to do those things whatever you've selected in there as well and you can swipe up to see what's playing with your control center there as well and then your connectivity options as well are available there so take advantage of all these options and abilities you have with standby now I want to go over some troubleshooting issues, or if you're finding that standby mode isn't working, you want to double check. First off, it's pretty simple here. Make sure your iPhone is actually charging. A lot of the time, if you're using these types of uh, stands, this may not be the exact cable that fits. It could be loose or not in. And some people don't even realize their phone isn't charging when they plug it up. That could be a reason you're not seeing the standby mode. Surprisingly enough, a lot of people with this issue were literally leaving the phone unlocked and then they would just kind of put the phone sideways and assume it was going to uh, jump into standby mode. It doesn't work like that. It has to be locked and horizontal. I'm saying this again because I got that question a lot and that was the issue. Make sure standby is enabled in settings. So go back to your standby options here. Make sure standby is on. For some reason, people clicked it off. And that was a big issue last time I made this video. Also, make sure that you have motion detection and always on display enabled if you want it to stay on all the time. Lastly, if it's not working, just restart your iPhone. Press and hold the two side buttons. So the volume up and the side button. Re turn it off. Press and hold the side button and then turn your iPhone back on. Make sure all of your settings are enabled the way you want, and it should work. There really isn't too much to it, and it also could mean your uh, charger here has failed if it's not charging correctly. 
But that is it. That's everything you need to know about using standby mode on your iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Air, and iPhone 17 Pro Max if you found this helpful. Check out my full iPhone 17 tutorial playlist. The link to that is in the video description. It covers all the hidden features, setup tips, camera tips and tutorials, and full guides to Apple intelligence. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss one of my iPhone guides. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.